Reheating your rotisserie chicken without drying it out is possible, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that in the oven and the microwave. Hi, I'm Laura, and on this channel, I share lots of how-to cooking videos and healthier family meals, so you can get a meal on the table quickly. And using a rotisserie chicken to build your meals is one great way to save time in the kitchen. In case you're wondering, reheating a rotisserie chicken is completely safe within four days of purchase. This goes both for a whole rotisserie chicken that you've kept in the fridge or leftover meat. Now I'm also gonna show you how to avoid a dry reheated chicken meat, especially if you're using the microwave method. To reheat a rotisserie chicken in the oven, you're gonna need about 25 to 30 minutes, and it's definitely worth it. The oven yields the juiciest chicken meat. Now the good news is that you can use that time to make up a few sides to serve along with it. So let's start by preheating the oven to 350 Fahrenheit and make sure that the top rack is in the middle of the oven. Next, I'm gonna transfer the chicken out of the plastic tray into a nine by 13 oven safe baking dish. You'll want to add about a cup of water of chicken stock or chicken broth to this baking dish. This is gonna help moisten the chicken as it heats up. Then we're gonna use foil to cover the chicken and seal all the sides so it can trap the steam in. This is gonna moisten the chicken meat as it heats up. Now, once the oven is hot, we're gonna heat this chicken for about 25 minutes. Then we're gonna remove the foil and bake for an additional five minutes if you want to crisp up the skin. If you're heating up leftover rotisserie chicken pieces and not a whole chicken, the method is still gonna be the same. You're gonna need a little bit less water, about half a cup and only about 20 minutes to get the job done. One quick note about the oven temperature. I prefer 350 degrees Fahrenheit because any hotter, you'll heat the chicken meat quickly and evaporate too much of the liquid that you added. So hotter temperature does not mean faster. And needless to say that if your rotisserie chicken is quite large, like the ones from Costco or Sam's, you might need an extra five minutes. Now, if you're in a hurry, let's talk about the microwave method. There's been a time that most of us have used a microwave to reheat our rotisserie chicken in the plastic tray from the store. And if you're like me and I've done this before, hey, we're still here. But the good news is that nearly all trays are made from food grade number five plastic, which is generally considered microwave safe. And you can check that number below the tray. Now, if you've Googled how to reheat chicken, you've probably read that it's best to remove the meat from the bones first. Well, when you're in a hurry and you have cold chicken, this process is gonna take twice as long. So I'm gonna show you how to do it both ways, whole chicken, and if you have pieces. Now, if you've separated it from the bones and you have just the meat, you're gonna put that in a microwave safe dish, add half a cup of water or broth to the bottom of the dish, cover it with a lid if you have one or a paper towel and microwave it for two minutes, making sure to stop halfway to move around the pieces for even heating. By the way, if you're finding this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up so I know to make more of them for you on my channel. Now, if you're like me and have the whole chicken to reheat, let's place this in a microwave safe dish. Again, because we wanna work some of the moisture back into the meat, the microwave is notorious for drying it out. So you'll wanna add a half to three fourths of a cup of water or broth into the bottom of the dish. Now to prevent grease splatter from the skin, I take a damp paper towel or two and place it on top. You're gonna microwave it for two full minutes. Then you're gonna add time in 30 second increments. Once the chicken is heated through, you're good to go. Now my number one tip to make sure that the microwave doesn't dry out your chicken is to not reheat it for too long or without any moisture in the dish. This is the culprit of dry chicken meat. And that's why we're adding liquid to the bottom and reheating it for up to two minutes. And then you're only adding 30 second increments. Now, if using rotisserie chicken in recipes is your thing, hit that red subscribe button. This video is part of a whole rotisserie chicken series. So no matter when you find the video, make sure to check the links below because I'll have recipes and other shortcuts for you in the description. See you next time.